Well, hey folks, welcome back. Research indicates here with level 3 of Trespasser, the Industrial Jungle. From here on out, the levels are starting to get pretty long, so I'm going to do my best to cut down on the wandering around. Now we're going to look over here, bend down, get the M14 rifle, and get started. Let's go. About 20. 1981. I stumbled out of the helicopter, already beginning to sweat, and looked around at the lush forest. The wet leaves. Now the M14 is a fantastic weapon. It's got the same range as the hunting rifle, but twice as many shots and does a little bit less damage. It's a shame there aren't more of them in the game. The first task was genetic recovery. Acquiring Jurassic or Cretaceous amber, extracting preserved DNA, and reassembling the complete sequences. Bringing it up the well, we call it. Now here's another new weapon, the Beretta 93R pistol. Haven't been used. Three Cray XMPs move more data faster than any computer center in the Americas. Now the Beretta is your standard 9mm. It's very accurate and easy to aim, but it doesn't do very much damage. It tears through the 20 shot clip real quick, and I gotta say it's just not one of the better weapons in this game. In 11 months, Site B became the most powerful genetics facility in the world. Whatever. Hammond's not kidding here. Three Cray XMPs would have been unheard of for this time. I had the pleasure of seeing one once at the Point Magoo Naval Records Center several years ago. The XMP had four processors running at 200 megaflops each and had a 32-bit memory addressing system. In 1984, a Cray XMP ran 15 million US dollars plus the cost of disks. In terms of modern CPU speeds, an XMP had less than half the raw power of a Microsoft Xbox console. Now if I had explored a little bit back there, we would have found some more wrecked vehicles with a couple more weapons, but none of them are really any better than what we have right now, so we're just going to keep going. In a quiet locked room, the extinction of species, the history of life on Earth is being methodically reversed. Now this is a really nice part of the level. Look at all this. Trees, bushes, shade, birds chirping, sunlight angling down through the canopy. This is a place that I could really enjoy myself. One. Empty. Now we hop in the truck here and find ourselves a new rifle. The hunters landed on May 13, 1997, deep in the island's southwest. Most of them had worked at my African parks for years. They never stood a chance. Looks like 20. This here is a good one. It's an HK91. This rifle's excellent against raptors. It's got good damage, good magazine size, good rate of fire. It's very accurate with surprisingly little kickback. This right here is a good one. Won't be long now before we get out of this little canyon. Things are going to start getting tight because there are not nearly as many guns in this level as I would like. I spared no expense, permitted no failures. And coming up ahead here, we're going to meet ourselves a new enemy. Or if not a new enemy, a new take on an old enemy. You'll see what I mean real quick. By 1983, we held 13 new patents. I was in high school then. Thirteen. There are three raptor tribes on the island, tribes A, B, and C. The tiger stripe guys are tribe A, and this guy is tribe B. Twelve. Nine. Seven. Eight left. Now, I called these guys the Red Raptors because for years I believed that they were a reference to Dr. Grant's line in Jurassic Park where he says, You've Red Raptors. I don't know. Watch the clip and you can draw your own conclusions. 
what species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. Seven shots. You bred raptors. Five. Three left. November 1983. Test fertilization of an artificial oval. My hands shook as I held the tiny eyedropper. One drop. Two drops. There. The genie was out of the bottle. The raptor took shape inside its egg and I watched it on the ultrasound monitor. It looked like a ghost or a puff of smoke. Anyway, you can see these red raptors are a lot tougher. Took almost all the bullets I had to bring that guy down, and we're going to be running into quite a few more before the end of the game. Now what the hell is this guy doing? These are unscalable walls, you can't climb these. Looks like he pretty much didn't either, he sort of slid. Shit fire! I goddamn missed him! Alright, we're going to have to go do this the old fashioned way. Usually, if you shoot that damn jeep, he falls down right on top of the raptor. Animations are screwy or something, so he just stands there so you can do it. It's a kind of a fun trick, but it's a little frustrating when it doesn't work. And now this damn jeep's in there. I hope I didn't just screw myself for the level here. Seriously, what the hell is this guy doing over here? Two. Fight the curb, bitch. Alright, now we're gonna continue. No thanks required, the pleasure was all ours. Signed, Max and Steven Spielberg. Apparently this whole Jeep puzzle was their idea, so hats off to them, I guess. I began to have my first inkling of the seriousness of our work. How deep the well was. This was life from 65 or 100 million years before mankind. I've really done it. This is not a normal situation. Normal situation, hell. Now we're going to meet an enemy that needs no introduction. Seven rulers in the island. And despite what we've been led to believe, the T-Rex was not a scavenger at all. We clocked one at 50 kilometers an hour. Now in that fight, the T-Rex is supposed to go after the raptors and not you. Usually works out pretty fine, but later in the game you're going to run into T-Rexes where the only thing around is you, and that's when things start getting kind of tricky. Now if you'll notice that sharp peak in the far, far background, that is the end of the game. Over the next few levels we're going to be working our way over to the base of it, then up the side, and eventually to the very, very tippy top. Well, here's another buddy-buddy Parasaur. He seems to be doing his thing over here, uh, so I don't see any good reason to bother him. Uh, and I don't have a weapon right now, so I guess we kind of can't. Hey, look at that. T-Rex guy came back. Oh, and he's down for the count. Golly. You know what, guys? I think we're going to get out of here. Shit, he's on to us. Alright, we are go. I'm gonna head on down the canyon here, we're getting the hell out. Here's another jeep, another body. I'm gonna take this because it's useful. And we'll snag a gun and keep on going. 
get used to these black textures here guys we're in some kind of volcanic wash and you're going to be seeing a bit of it for well quite a while now this level is called the industrial jungle and my understanding is that it refers to this area right here now i'm not exactly sure why is the thing i mean yeah it's a bunch of black rock it's nice and spooky and everything but there's nothing particularly industrial about any of this now this fight right here is just no fun. The last couple of times I've run this level, the only way I've gotten through here alive is just by running for my life and not trying to fight Feels these full. guys. Let me see what I can do here. About half a clip. They're nearly empty. Okay, that was pretty good so far. Let me see if I can get this damn stuck rifle out of the rock here. Feels full. Forget these guys. We're going to go ahead on. Let's go. I'd like to point out all the stretch textures on these huge vertical walls here. For all you modeling types out there, uh, you know, when you're doing something that's big or tall or flat or vertical or something like this, for Christ's sake, please don't stretch your textures. It just looks like hell. Okay, looks like the raptors aren't following us. We're going to go ahead and keep following this trail right here till we hit another clearing. This time it's going to have another few raptors, a big old brachiosaur skeleton, and a crashed helicopter. There's some good firepower in that area, so that should be good. I'm going to skirt along the edge here. There's some rocks that I can chuck down there, but I'm not going to bother because I don't think I've ever hit anything with them. And you can't kill anything from up here anyway. Uh, instead, I'm just going to go to the edge here, slide down, and uh, hope I can run over to the helicopter, get some weapons before, uh, before I get at. So, let's give it a shot. Shit, damn, do it again. Now the logo on the side of that helicopter there belongs to Biosyn, which for those of you who are pretty familiar with the Jurassic Park books, you'll recognize that as being InGen's rival company. I guess you assume that uh, they sent some kind of team over here to try to recover some genetic material or a dinosaur or some such thing to, uh, to do their own dinosaur thing. Lucky for us, there was a survivor from the helicopter crash. Looks like he crawled up this little switch back here and died, but he left us something real nice. Here we are. Hasn't We've been got used. another new weapon. Looks like 20. Now we're armed to the teeth, but we're not going to go back and kill those raptors back there because there's really no point. Instead, we're going to keep on moving forward and we'll be out of this nasty place before you know it. Been used. Here it is, our old buddy, the Automat Kalashnikov AK-47, the official automatic weapon of modern revolutionary movements. This weapon's pretty easily recognized by its signature banana-shaped ammo clip and its high repeat rate. The recoil on the AK is pretty terrible though, making aiming damn difficult. You gotta fire in short bursts, but hey, you already knew that. Interesting thing though, uh, this game calls it the AG-47. That's 
second or third gun here that's had a similar yet different name from its actual real life counterpart. I'm not sure what's going on there. Kind of reminds me of Goldeneye. Some of you might have noticed I have the H&K 91 again. When I loaded up the save, I was still holding it, so that was uh, my mistake. Uh, won't really make too much difference in the long run, I think. And we're up high again. You can see we're starting to get more greenery, which is more like it, by God. Now, I thought I'd do something a little different for this video, guys. I decided I'm going to show you one of Trespasser's terrible secrets. Now, a lot of games have a third-person mode. In fact, early on in the Trespasser development, there were movements to make it a third-person game. Something like Dino Crisis, Resident Evil, or uh, Tomb Raider. This didn't really pan out, but they did come up with an extremely limited third-person mode for testing. This is still in the game. Okay, now we've got one more Tribe A Raptor up ahead, and then we are done with all this black rock industrial whatever the heck all this stuff is. We'll be back onto grass and green and run into a couple of buildings, and then we'll be coming up to level four of the town, which I know a lot of you have been looking forward to. That's it. Now up ahead is a terrible, terrible, terrible platforming puzzle. It's a rock staircase, a platforming puzzle. All these rocks are at different levels, you gotta hop up on them and climb up to the top. Thing is, I have never ever, not once, finished this puzzle. I say it can't be done. So, to save you all the trouble, I'm gonna use a little no-clip code and we're gonna fly right over this thing. Now, right up here is a death-defying leap. Sprawled out in front of us here is the rest of the level, all down in that valley. To get down there, we gotta go cliff diving. Only this ain't Acapulco, and that water's only four feet deep. This'll be fun. Here it is folks, Trespasser's dark and terrible secret, third person mode. You can see exactly what this is, it's all the parts of Anne that you can usually see. There's her arm over there, there's her chest and her heart tattoo, and nothing else. Anne is just a floating hitbox. Now we've only got a few minutes left, so I'm going to play through the rest of the level in third person mode. It's going to be damn hard, because it's pretty difficult to line up the, uh, the sights on the guns, but I'm going to give it a shot. Feels full. Now we're going to skirt around the edges here because that was an albertosaur back there in addition to the uh, velociraptor. The albertosaur is kind of a smaller, faster cousin of the T-Rex. You run into several of them throughout the game. They're quick, sure, but they're a lot weaker than the T-Rex. You can actually bring these guys down with regular gunfire. You can see fuel barrels all over the place. You can shoot them all you want, they don't do anything. There are no explosives in this game. Heck, there are no explosions in this game. Not from you, not from anything else. Huh. Huh. 
Now this drywall area is another example of places where you just can't climb the walls. I didn't mean to get down in this ditch, but now that I am, it's going to be a while before I can get back out. All I can do is follow it until I find a nice sloping area where I can bunny hop back out. The jungle canopy hung over us. There was an utter silence. Far away I could hear a jeep engine idling. As we move along here, you'll notice boxes and trucks and sheds on the left and right side of the dry wash here. Each of those has weapons, you know, about half and half melee weapons and guns. We certainly don't need useless melee weapons, and the guns are no better than what we have right now, so I'm sure you'll forgive me for not checking all of those out. Now would you take a look at that over there? That's the second wreck in this level. This whole damn island's a goddamn aircraft magnet. We were neither the only covert business to thrive in Central America nor the most dangerous. This big old thing is the smuggler's plane. It looks like it's been here for a while. Inside there I picked up the AG-47, or AK-47, I guess we're gonna have to decide what direction we're going on that. Uh, and it has the drum magazine. It's got twice as many shots as the regular AK, uh, and boy, this thing can just shoot till doomsday. It's great. I'm gonna hang on to this one. Now I'm gonna turn on no clip again and zip on up the hill here. I'm gonna show you all an easter egg the devs left in the game. Here we have a big old spooky monolith. I'm assuming this is some kind of reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey. You can't walk up this hill so I have to fly here and as I get close to it you'll notice some spooky music starts. Uh, otherwise I don't know the significance of it and uh, we're gonna get back to work here. So let me just get back to the plane and pick up our gun. Feels full. Now we'll continue on here. We've only got a handful of Tribe B Raptors between us and the end of the level, so let's get cracking. We released the level. forth near the wall for four minutes and twenty-two seconds before hearing a noise. We into the brush. Guys, I really cannot describe how difficult it is to shoot things in third person mode, but for those of you playing along, I suggest you give it a shot. It's actually kind of fun. By 1987, the first of them had reached full size. The ecosystem of another era began to reassert itself. We're following these power lines here down the valley into the end of the level where the town is, which you can just make out at the edge there in the haze. In the jungle, the forest and the mountain, three raptor tribes staked out territory. Arbotosaurs and seven T-Rex chose their dominions. Uneasy borders drawn around forest ridges and ponds. Not all the original species survived, and the end only a few adjusted to the new world. Things became dominant. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not too impressed by the sound effect they used for the AK-47 in this game. And that's really a shame, because the other gun sounds are pretty well spot on. That's it. Oh no, my gun went to heaven. 
Up ahead you can see a crane, a couple of boxes, and some other junk. We're going to climb up on that and use it to get over the wall, and that takes us up to the next level. I'm going to have to switch back over to first person mode for that though, because I tried this last time and there is just no Showers, way you can do the coffee, platforming puzzles while you're in third person mode. Just doesn't happen. Well, that's the end of the industrial jungle, folks. Coming up next is level four of the town. Thanks for watching. This is Research Indicates. We'll leave the light on for you.